So here we go. At the MCG, Collingwood and Brisbane do battle again. And the wild man from Borneo, Keaton, beaten by Fraser from the first knockout. But the Lions through Bradshaw in his new position at centre half back, able to settle Wo Woden a high one. It'll give Darrell White and Darren Malloy an early workout. And we've got the duel that we've been waiting for, Hutto, Voss and Buckley opposed to each other. Well, they had a great battle in last year's grand final. The arguments continued long and loud. At the other end of the ground, Wakeland has gone to Lynch. You can hear the instructions from the umpires. Brisbane Lions in the old Fitzroy Guernsey. This is McGough, who was so impressive last week. Kick not going anywhere. Carousella, who had his best game for the Lions last week. Hart, there was also some question mark over him today. Cloak, what a job he'll have on Jonathan Brown. This is Fraser. Through the middle, Wo Woden and Williams, the joint targets. And this is Lecuria who takes the mark. Taron is down behind play. So Lecuria puts it out in front of Rocker. Great help from Copeland. Buckley, they stood in a bit of a standoff, Carousella and Buckley. Eventually, that interesting handball from Voss got them away. Some early fumbles, McGough. Give Buckley a chance. Lecuria. There's a whistle. Jumper early on, very early on, hang on, running, running back. Well, you heard the umpire's explanation. And this, this is, is Tarrant. Oh, he's coming off the ground. Got a blind rule, Shane. Chris Tarrant. Shane, have to wait. So, what's your early impression, Steve? We've got Shane O'Brien waiting for the blood rule and lining up for goal. It'll be uh, a downfield free kick, so he'll line up from directly in front of goal. Yeah, some great matchups. Uh, Lecuria on black. We've got Wawoden and Pike. Just terrific matchups all around the ground. Well, Shane O'Brien has been a goal kicker this year. He's kicked 16 8 for the year, including a bag of four against the Western Bulldogs. And he starts off the Magpies Day in style. Well, terrific start by the Magpies. Always nice to get the first goal. This uh, free kick was downfield. We see the Tarrant uh, incident there. That did hurt. That did hurt. We see him on the bench. Not a good start to the game for Chris Tarrant. So the Magpies with first blood. They've kicked the opening goal of the match. Keating. Thumps it forward, good little handball, Carousella, Black towards Lynch, he's got it. They had a great duel in last year's grand final, Wakeland and Lynch. Lynch kicked four in that match. And a chance now for the quick equalising score for the Lions. And all set up by the Keating hit out. It's close. It's very close. Well, it's a goal. He had a great look at it. It was right over the post. And they have just snuck in. So, quick reply to the line, Steve. Just what they needed. No doubt. But uh, set up by the Keating hit out. This is what the Brisbane Ruckman do all the time. They hit the ball forward. Exactly what Clark Keating did on this occasion. But certainly, Alistair Lynch, well, he's got off to the start. He wanted an early goal. Wakeland will just need to provide some pressure on Lynch, who is a very quick opponent. Well, you could see Shane Wakeland arguing the case. We'll check in on Chris Tarrant's condition quickly with you, Jared. I know, worse than a slap in the face on a cold day, that's for sure. The cotton wool's gone up the nose and uh, just composing himself. But Chris Tarrant will be back shortly for sure. So a goal each in this early stage. Black, as always, at the bottom of the pack, Carousella. Jason Cloak. Oh, here's a chance for Brad Scott. Doesn't get forward that often, but when he does, he loves to kick a goal like that.
Brad Scott's now kicked five goals for the season, and that was an important one and a terrific one. It was, and once again, the Clark Keating hit out, pushed straight forward towards their goal. Just watch this tap by Pikey. This is what gets their clearance. Bang. Great goal. Two goals to the Lions. They lead by six points. Oh. This time the bounce favours Fraser Voss. Chance for power, just knocks it forward, hopefully. Brown, deft touch, but it went straight to Buckley. The captain has it. McGoss working hard early. Didn't get a great bounce. Now a chance for White. Tried to take on McGoff. And in the end, a boundary no, throw no, 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 no. Good pressure. Good pressure by McGough. Just corralled him up, made it force him to go towards the boundary line. Don't hold here, guys. Paul, watch your arms. Don't hold here, guys. Don't block. Rocker and Keating. Over the top, Michael. Andrew Williams on the ground. The replacement for Chris Tarrant. We saw Blake Carousella in there, Steve. He's been prominent so far. Yeah, three clearances already out of the middle. Carousella. Rocker, Voss tries to crash his way through, he's taken down. Congested play, Buckley scrambles it forward after the Courier handball. Bradshaw almost, Ashcroft, Malloy fighting hard for the Magpies. Fine, thanks guys. That's fine. Mick Malthouse. Straight towards the boundary line again guys. Had a terrific last six, week, the Mag six weeks, the Magpies. Their toughest test in that time. Buckley and Voss, good Shepherd by Williams. Buckley elects just to let it roll over the line. Shepherd. So the opening goal to Collingwood and the Don't next two to the Lions guys. through Lynch and Brad Scott. O'Brien in his 100th out. game. Kick the opening goal of the afternoon. Keating and Rocker, you can see Keating palming it down. Lacuria, busy early, gets it forward. Good strong defensive work from Copeland. And now this Lions team can get together off halfback. Voss is away. And no one coming for him. So he links up with Brad Scott. Into half forward Brown with his first real opportunity. Cloak was right there. Ackermanis. Well, Woden burns for his first touch. It was nothing effective about it. And so a ball up to take place. Some 40 metres out from the Brisbane Lions goal. They're kicking to what has been the scoring in for most of the year. Keating again, thrusting them forward. Pike with an important touch. He might have to do it on his own, Martin Pike. Off the left. Oh, it's a great finish for the man who's played in three of the last four premiership teams. Well, what a big game player Mark, Martin Pike has become. On big games, he performed. But have a look at Clark Keating. Once again, the fist forward. That is what the Brisbane Ruckman do. They just push the ball forwards towards their goal. The Brisbane players know where the ball's going. Martin Pike knew he capitalised. And just watch Keating here. If he gets his hand to the ball, the ball will go forward towards their direction. Fraser and Keating. Fraser, oh, Keating gets it down again to Voss. Can't break clear. That makes eight hit outs to one. Is it something Thanks, do you guys. think that Mick Mildhouse will do something about soon? Well, it we might have to happen. Uh, certainly, we what the Collingwood players need to understand, out. and particularly they're on ball, is they need to have a defensive sweeper because the ball is going forward every time Keating gets his hand to it. Fraser this time gets it down. Buckley and Voss. Williams, or was he pushed in the Go back? No, oh, Andrew Williams! Get him going! Didak relays the ball back to Williams. Parent still off the ground, kick inside, attacking 50. Malloy on the lead, almost, couldn't quite hold on. Bradshaw, who's been in great form at halfback in recent weeks for the Lions. Carousella brought down, Buckley can't keep it in. Buckley just appealing there for the free kick. Appealing for deliberate out of bounds. 
Don't hold here, guys. Don't block. Bayavotso issuing instructions. Malloy this time with the ruck where Bradshaw over the top wins it. Black, Brad Scott, now Ashcroft can break from half-back. Long towards half-foot. Magpies are there in number. And Fraser marks comfortably. That's, that's what they do very well, the Magpies. They generally free one up out-back, and on that occasion, it was Fraser. Here's Holland Wakeland's run off Lynch to try and provide an option further up the ground. There's an interesting look. The long sleeves underneath the Heritage Guernsey of Reese Shaw doing what he does best, streaming out of defence. That wasn't his... A great result though, Copeland gets it down quickly, Jonathan Brown's away here if Ackermanis can get it to him, Holland under pressure, and in the end, the Lions happy enough to see it over and out. And just there, they just missed the, 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 the run of Tarrant, He's, he was the one that would have ordinarily provided the option for Reece Shaw, he just didn't have much to kick to as he looked up from half back on that occasion. Well, a huge loss early, Chris Tarrant for the Magpies. When will he return? One of the early questions. Keating again got the fist to it. This time the Magpies able to read. Buckley, little dangerous. Onto the left side here of Wakeland. Has to trust his skills on the non-preferred side. McGough, heart tagging him to the line as we go back to Jared Waitley. I know the doctor's just keeping a close watch on Chris Tarrant at the moment. He got up and had a run of the boundary before. He's certainly uh, in a good deal of pain. He will return. He's just uh, taking some time to compose himself. Again, Fraser and Keating. Once again, Keating with the edge from those ruck throw-ins and ball-ups. It's interesting, Steve. I mean, I guess if you look at the option for Mick Moldhouse, it's McKee. Would he be a better option against someone with a leap of, of Keating? You'd probably have to wonder. You probably would, but uh, just watch Keating forward. Every time that there is a ball-up, the ball is going forward towards Brisbane's goal. Voss again. He's already having a say in how this match is going. In towards Lynch and Wakeland. And here's Shaw. Rocker gets to the contest. Yeah, Marcus! Holy, he gets you! Free kick to Ascroft. Give it to him! Come back and Leah. O'Brien penalised. And marvellous Marcus Jason. Ascroft just keeps going and going, doesn't he, over the years? The hair greying a fraction, but it uh, doesn't seem to slow him down. Daryl White, who got a late reprieve today. Into Brown. He's got away from Cloak, but Cloak was desperate as ever. Locking under pressure. Johnson, Ackermanis, Burns. He's found himself under more pressure, perhaps, than he has for most of the season. Johnson, McRae. Another veteran line still having a say. Steve, Steve, I wonder whether it would be better to put Rocker into the ruck just to try and give them some impetus because he's one player that can really leap. He certainly run straight into Keating. Yeah, good point. Uh, Rocker really hasn't had a touch to this stage of the game. Here's Fraser. Here is Rocker and Michael. And again, the Lions winning the day until Buckley appeared on the scene. Trying to will the ball forward for the Magpies, but he can't. Right, Pike. Out to Ashcroft. And Voss with Loney in hot pursuit. Michael Voss trying to strut his stuff, but Ryan Loney was having nothing of it. And he wins the plaudits to the Magpie fans. And there's plenty of them here today, and they're in full voice as we go back to Jared Waitley. Hello, the, the wind is pretty typical of the MCG this year, just howling toward the left of screen, so the Lions with the advantage. Most days, I'd suggest this sort of wind has been worth a couple of goals, so I would think about two goals at the moment. Keating again, Burns just scrambles it forward. Contest from Malloy, White. Death knockout wide to accommodate Michael. Ash dropped him up hard against the boundary line. Did very well in the end, just to kick it around the body. Magpie fans calling for deliberate again. Some great teamwork there by the Brisbane defenders. A great block by Bradshaw. Let's just watch the Keating. Watch Keating. He'll hit this ball forward if he gets his hands to it. Fraser had a bit of that. The Curium burns. Burns to Fraser. High to half forward. Rocker going back. O'Brien. Oh, he looked for Buckley. Didn't quite hit the mark. Oh, did very well. Got it to Buckley from 45 into the goal square. Great mark by White. Deep in his own defensive zone. 
Powell's loose at half back for the Lions. Hasn't got much to kick to. Brown works very hard to get across to provide an option. Cloak forces it over. Just. It's made a good start, Jason Cloak, Steve. Uh, Brown yet to have a possession. Well, he needs to. He just needs to sit with Jonathan Brown. Obviously, a player that works hard up the field, very much like Chris Tar Tarrant. Well, there's Fraser, gets one back for the Magpies. Buckley along the line. I guess in terms of the hitouts, Steve, they're winning the hitouts 12 5, but if you look at the clearances, Collingwood are actually winning that 9 to 6, so maybe Moldhouse won't need to make a move until that changes. There's Chris Tarrant, we can see him. They're testing the skills. Good scrap. Once again, we've seen plenty of ball ups, haven't we, so far? We have. Uh, very intense game. But Chris Tarrant, uh, he's known as being a goal kicker, but he's also ranked fourth on Collingwood's inside 50. So he does work up up, up, up the ground and uh, provides the option and provides plenty of drive up forward. Pike, who's been very good early, kicked towards half or Brown. Ten metres in front of Cloak. Kicks it towards half forward. Pinch in the pack, taken by McRae. A snap and goal, he's kicked it. Sensational stuff from Craig McRae. So Brisbane, after conceding the first goal of the match to Collingwood, have kicked the last four and have a very comfortable lead. Yes, and what great play by Alistair Lynch. Just watch him bring this ball forward there, just to the front and square position, and McRae snags another one. James Clement onto the ground, has gone forward. Bradshaw is picking him up. Clement at right. full forward. Well, Mick Mouldhouse trying things that he needs to. The margin already has got out to 18. And there's some dangerous signs at the moment all over the ground. This magnificent team. In the first quarter last week against the Kangaroos, they really started to look dangerous, and again we're seeing it. And once again, Hutto out of the middle. Certainly on top at the moment, Brisbane. Well, Anthony Rock is getting some instructions from the runner off camera, so maybe that move in the ruck may be going to be made at some stage. I just think in those situations, when there's a pressure kick coming out of the centre as a backman, you need to be playing in front. And well, Jason well, Cloak was a couple of metres behind Brown on that occasion. Particularly at stoppages. Well, since I said Cloak had started well, Brown's taken two marks and had a part in one goal. And maybe another. As he kicks cleanly, and the Lions have got five on the ball already. Five straight, mind you. And Collingwood, one straight. It's just that situation when you get the quick kick, and we'll just see the pressure here. Sean Hart just scrambled it forward, and there's Brown playing in front. And it's just such important to be in that position when that quick kick comes out. And one of the hardest kicks to defend that quick kick out of the middle. Brisbane in control. Five goals to one. Boss has pushed forward. Ryan Lonely. Loney is picking him up. He will be lonely if he's one-on-one -on -one with Voss if he's not careful. Fraser, hard again. Brad Scott. Controlling the midfield at the moment, the Lions. Michael out wide, Ashcroft. Loose player at half forward, Shattuck can play on. Set up another scoring opportunity. Long towards Lynch, he's in front. Good sport from Wakeland. Power, oh, is he pushed in the back? No. Bounce. Luke Power. Only 20 metres from Brisbane's goal. Fraser under pressure here. Oh, Cloak was held. Cloak! Guess, guess, Cloak! That's it, right there. Loose player out wide. O'Bree, who started up forward now. He's been called to play on here. Forced to kick under pressure. Burns, who's been quiet. Did well. Did brilliantly. Gets it back towards O'Bree. Kick towards half forward. 
Brocker and Michael, it's been an enthralling tussle. Michael wins out. Former Magpie. Ekamanis. Free kick. Needs to get back on Brands. Hold it! Hacker! Hacker! It's a good shoot! No, it's a Collingwood free kick. And Ekamanis will come off with the blood rule. Cody, your kick! Well, I think he's got every right to be disappointed. Well, that's all right, Ronnie. You Cody. come off with the blood rule and you give the Cody. free kick it's away. It looked like a head clash, didn't it? Now, Cloak's throwing the head back as if to say the free kick's against exactly. him. So where's the free against Ekamanis? Well, it, comes must, after. it must come after, but yep. some rem remonstrating with Holland, I suspect. I think he threw the elbow back. There's some good news for the Pies. Chris Tarrant has come onto the ground. So a slight delay. Brody Holland, boss leading the possession count for the Lions with six. And Fraser along with Lecuria and Buckley, heading the count for the Magpies. Shaw, clever mark. Reece Shaw's been an important part. He's calling the resurgence this year. O'Bree. Wasting no time. Gee, that's an ordinary kick. Almost Buckley. Couldn't take it. It's tied up at half forward. This is what happened with Jason Ackermanis and why the free was against him. Get him up! <laughs> Still a bit difficult to tell, isn't it? From the bounce. Chance for the Lions. Black Carousella somehow got it out to Hart. Towards half forward. Well played by McGrath. Towards Brown, who's tough in the clinches. It's a handball out McGrath. Fraser's the only player there. Oh! Backed up by Wakeland. And Collingwood out of trouble. Through Holland. And the Magpies haven't quite got the fluency we're used to. The crowd will enjoy seeing Tarrant back in it and the thick of it. This is Scott. But they really haven't been able to run the ball as we're used to seeing them out of defence, Steve. Well, the pressure by the Brisbane forwards has been exceptional. James Clement has now gone down back to the Magpies. Boys on it, go on the ball. The Magpie the crowd on. in shell shocked at the moment. Charman now into the ruck against Rocker. After Keating dominated the early hit outs. Here's Brad Scott. Crowd saw something, yeah, the umpire didn't. Lecuria and Burns combining as they have so often this year. Fraser thrust forward. But as he did in the grand final last year, has an immediate impact. Now, is he too far out to score? You'd think so. Tarrant makes his lead. He fancies his chances. Oh, oh, I don't know what he was thinking. Poor option. Poor option. Straight to Bradshaw. And now, little Sean Hart. Left it behind, but he has time to recover. Luke Power. And now McGrath, who's just on the ground. Came on for Ackermanis. He'd probably come off again because Acker's just about ready to come back on. And here he goes. So we've got 22 minutes, as you can see, six minutes remaining, and the Brisbane Lions with five straight goals, calling it just one goal. Shane O'Bree, the lone goal kicker. Scott, Brown, Pike, Lynch and McRae for the Lions. Ekermanis over the line, and there's the matchup. Tarrant and Bradshaw. Chris Tarrant, unlucky. Mark McGough kicked the ball right into his face from about four metres in the opening minutes of the match. He's only just returned to the ground. Wide up high and early. Williams scrambles it forward. Michael playing in front of Fraser. Pressure though from Fraser, forcing the boundary throw in. Good reaction there by Mel Michael. A quick kick out as a defender. You've always got to be alert. He was alert on that occasion. Terrence, one out in the goal square. You can just see top of, top of frame there against Bradshaw. Carousella carried forward Has on the tackle. Out. Advantage to Ackermanis. Links with Shattuck. Buckley arrived on the scene, but Shattuck did well to get the handball away. Ackermanis drills the pass in low. Not taken by Wakeland. Now Buckley kept going, and he's got it on the southern wing. Forced prop. Tarrant provides an option, but the kick was poor. Copeland was able to intercept for the Lions. And Buckley very unforgiving of his own decision making as much as execution there Steve. Well they're twice they've missed uh, Chris Tarrant on a lead where he's had four or five metres on his opponent. 
Kick out wide again. This Brown cloak battle. Cloak's given away. Free kick. Brown into Ashcroft. Magpies pushing plenty of numbers back. Not all the lines. Players following them down. White. Well, there was not a player inside Collingwood's forward 50. Well, there's no one behind Daryl White as he kicks from almost the wing. With that laconic style. Lynch and Wakeland, Carousella. Danger! Oh, danger! Extreme danger! Lines on the loose at the MCG. But it doesn't get much more dangerous than that. Six straight goals for the Brisbane Lions. Collingwood one straight. Yes, he was in goal-kicking form last week, Carousella. What a sensational goal that was. But once again, Alistair Lynch just brings the ball to the front. Carousella reads it and, uh, well, he gets his desired result. Great play, Carousella. Great play, Alistair Lynch. Gee, it was a great goal, wasn't it? All class, Blake Carousella. Just controlling the midfield at the moment, Brisbane. Shane Wo Woden. Now, Rocket is on the ball. Contest this centre bounce against Charman. Rocket gets it down. Oh, Charman did very well. O'Bree tries to spin out of trouble. Former Lion. Kick only as far as Ashcroft. Black, who ran hard from the centre circle. Got Boss. Sweeping handball into the path of Boss. Now he's got Brown loose inside attacking 50. It gets to him. Brown turns on the left foot. Oh, don't tell me he's kicking it out. He has his kick to Brown. What an inspiring first quarter from the Lions. They've kicked seven goals. And Collingwood have been shell-shocked. And Jonathan Brown has been a star at centre-half forward. And what about the handball ball by Michael Voss? Just puts it out in front of Jonathan Brown. Just watch this. Left-hand handed ball. Beautiful. Sets him up. Left foot goal. Well, I reckon there's a few coaches and players of other teams who have got a little bit more of a knot in their stomach if they're watching this game this afternoon. We wondered if the Brisbane Lions was the same power that they were in the last two years. Well, 27 minutes of football has shown us that they are still very much about. McKee in the middle now for the Magpies. Charm and his opponent. There's Brody Holland. You look at the stats list. Black, seven possessions. Voss, seven possessions. Brown... Five possessions and two goals. And that tells you some of the story, doesn't it? Well, possessions, 70 to Brisbane, 50 to Collingwood. There's a couple of more stars to throw in. Power and Ackermanis. Clement under pressure. Oh, Lynch throwing his weight around. Napier waves it all on. And as the Lions continue to wax around, Burns underneath that he's very strong over his head. As he shows again there, coming in for his sixth possession of the afternoon. Scotty Burns, who's struck such a wonderful vein of form through 2002 and 2003. Been averaging 23 disposals a game, but very stagnant for the Magpies at the moment. They've been completely shut out by the Lions. Ryan Loney confronted with no real options for him other than just to go along along the line until finally Burns provides for him. Once again, he's going to have to go short here, Fraser. Into the space, so at least the Magpies have been able to work it to the wing. Jason Cloak's run Jonathan Brown to the goal square at the other end of the ground, I guess to try and keep him away from the danger area at centre-half forward. And there's the normal full forward, Chris Tarrant applying a tackle. Yes, yeah, and well done, Michael, on that occasion. He left his direct opponent to chop off the lead there, knew that Chris Tarrant was coming up and got across and helped his teammate. The scary news is there's more stars to come. And Chris Johnson starting on the bench today. Chris Scott out of the lineup today. And there's others as well. Black back to his Brownlow best in the last two weeks. Brad Scott adjusted the kick. And it was well read by Shaw. So just under two minutes remaining. And once again, Collingwood struggling to get it moving. Clement back in the side this afternoon. Sweeping handball and the Collingwood players trip each other up. That's about how it's been in this opening quarter. And the Lions do very well. Well, that was almost comical. 
fact it was. Can we have another look at it. Cole and the Curia. I suppose the positive they were both going for the football. Just got in each other's way. Leach up the ground. Inside attacking 50. Cloak missed it. Carousel is dangerous. He'll suck at this. No, he tried to. Missed it. McGough kicks it. Out on the fault. And if there's a criticism of Mark McGough, it's, it is about his disposal. He was in awesome form last week. Well, they're, they're under pressure, the Magpies. No doubt that Brisbane are applying enormous of pressure. Yeah, Martin right. Pike with the kick. He's gripped a couple of metres now. Umpire is right Pike onto it. that and has called him back round. He's just arguing that That's it. the fence is in the way and he's moved back round again. Stay there! <laughs> He'll probably the kick it the way they're going. Long to the goal square. There'll be a contest. Collingwood under pressure. Brown! Just too strong. Martin Pike's been fantastic in this opening quarter. But Jonathan Brown's been better. And will line up for goal number three. Not bad for a 20-year-old who's playing his 70th game. So, what a, what a quarter by the Brisbane Lions. Plenty of questions, plenty of doubts about how the Premier team has been travelling in recent times, but they've answered everything in this first quarter. And Jonathan Brown to extend the margin to eight, to six goals. Seven goals. He comes in. He kicks it. Seven goals. The Lions in front. I mentioned somewhere early in the game that uh, Cloak was doing a good job on Brown, didn't I? And since then, that was about 10 minutes into the first quarter. Since then, he has just exploded. He has. He's kicked three of their last four goals, Jonathan Brown. He's a big, strong lad who has got sensational endurance. And, uh, well, Jason Cloak just needs to tighten up and do his job. It was just interesting, Steve, with a, with a, kick, a set kick into the attacking goal square that there was a one-out contest. No one coming across to help for the Collingwood side. The only positive you could say for Collingwood is that it couldn't get any worse than this, or could it? Cloak out to the wing. It's been wonderful to watch. Not so I'm sure if you're a Magpie fan, but boy, the skills of our great game have been on display. Did you ever get the chance to play on Jonathan Brown's also? Yeah, I'm not too sure if I ever did, but uh, just on Jason, Watch what Jason Blake needs to do, Watch he's got to just shut out that first 20 minutes of this game and just make sure he concentrates for the next 10 and gets to every contest. Well, what a quarter. What an amazing quarter by this team. Collingwood kicked the first goal of the match. And Michael Voss and his team of superstars kicked the next eight straight. Steve Silvani, it's been great to watch. Unbelievable football. There was a massive question mark on the lines at the start of this game, but haven't they come out with a bang? Eight goals in that quarter. They totally outplayed the Magpies, who only kicked one goal. And I'm sure Lee Matthews would be delighted with that start. I suspect so. Fraser's also inside attacking 50 for the Magpies. Tarrant starting out of the goal square. So... There's not much you can do in terms of moving players around. They just need a bit more commitment at the football. Well, they were thrashed in the centre bounces in the opening quarter, but Rocker hits back with one and burns a little handball. And Buckley, you imagine all those players mentioned will be stung by the opening quarter. Can they regroup and lead the Magpies back into this match? Scott and Keating. He loves the big occasions. Clark Keating. Johnson against Akamanis and Cloak. He's still on Jonathan Brown. He hasn't got many options in terms of playing on Jonathan Brown, has he? I guess Clement could go on to him. Clement's the other one. And I guess, well, if he's got to go to a third, it might have to be Wakeland. So McKee is doing the ruck work around the grounds by the look of that power. Call that a handball. Voss. And Hart's got away. Just what the Magpies desperately didn't want. Great uh, kick there by Voss. Just a little key indicator that uh, when Brisbane win, Michael Voss averages close to 26 possessions. When they lose, it's 17. And at the moment, he's had 19 
Oh, sorry, he's had nine disposals. Well, that one's clapped through. It wasn't a great-looking kick, but it's a goal. So, this massacre continues. An astounding scoreline, nine goals straight. That's the other thing, their accuracy's been amazing. Incredible, and uh, this man here, he's a Rolls-Royce Michael Boss. Great little chip across, and that would deflate the Collingwood team, particularly that Brisbane have got an early goal. What a performance. The Lions have kicked the last nine goals. Nine goals straight. Rotka. Play on. Beaten by Keating. Chance out wide for Brad Scott. Power. Just escapes Lucuria's tackle. Towards half four. Brown's going to beat a couple and does. Three goals in the opening quarter to Jonathan Brown. Gets around Cloak. Just pumps it long. Goal square. One out. Now there's a free kick. And you can he hear Alistair Lynch. Remember the grand final last year, there were some key free kicks paid, one late, which really helped the Lions to get over the line. Collingwood work it out, Burns. Rock or Michael took his eyes off the ball. Long, now one out, Tarrant. Collingwood fans call for it, wasn't there. Fraser's exposed. Lecuria, Woe Woden, McGough. Gee, their tackling's been sensational on the line. But... but yours, yours, straight. Chris, you're body on body, mate. You can't get everything, OK? There's nothing there. Show Woe Woden in the back. It just marks here. Nah. I'm quite a bot, so. It doesn't matter if you're trying to. The free kick is in the back. That's what it's for. Hey, Simon, can you pop back? Oh, it's a blood roll, OK? Simon, if you can go straight, mate. Well, that was a pretty ordinary decision, I think, the replay showed. It was, but just uh, interesting to hear the conversation with Chris Tarrant, yeah, obviously saying something to the umpire about why he wasn't paid a free kick in the response. Well, can't you, don't, get you can't get everything. Well, clever play by Tarrant. You just let the umpire know, go across, let him know there's a little bit going on. Next time the ball comes in, he's well aware that there's a bit of wrestling happening. Don't know, can't get everything. He hasn't got anything today, Tarrant. He hasn't had a touch yet. In fact... Ten Collingwood players have had one possession or less so far. Well, Woe Woden with a chance from right on 50. Collingwood need a goal. Oh, it's a sensational kick. Collingwood have their second. And remarkably, 11 goals kicked in the match. Not one behind in the awkward conditions with the wind, Steve. That's a phenomenal effort. It is uh, unbelievable. We just see this free kick on screen. I guess he was very lucky there, Wai Woden. But uh, the tackling just by the Brisbane def defenders on that occasion was outstanding. But well done, Wai Woden, putting that goal through. The incredible accuracy continues here at the MCG. Nine goals to two and Rocker already getting taps, but Keating does the roving and gets it in quickly for Lynch. Will he get there? Akamanis as well and Johnson. Wakeland, good tackle from Shattuck. But Shaw with the spoils out wide and now some flow for the Magpies. It's a question of using the ball well. McKee again, Rocker impeded with, but did pretty well. Got it off to Cole. A high one. Fraser and Tarrant get there late. Well done. He got the spoil. Pressure on White. The key outnumbered hopelessly. Ashcroft, Michael to the wing where the Lions have got the numbers. And Pike, who's had an impact on this game already, is going to have to come back. Copeland, Just a down there, Martin. Blissfully unaware. Let's get back behind you, mate. mate. Come back right over, mate. Right over. Right over. Right but over. Michael Voss ready right to get over. a free hand pass here or a little short pass. But now Pike's going to have to go for a longer option. He might change his mind at the last minute. No, Pike likes to go long. Up to the 50 again. Brown surrounded by Magpies that time. And Carousella sees it safely over the line. So this Magpie crowd, as Jared said, at quarter time, strangely silent. The chant coming through. 
for the Brisbane Lions fans. McKee and Keating, Sean Hart, Shaw doing well. Touched, so he got it to Johnson, who's has his first couple of touches of the afternoon. Not particularly effective. Keating, his Buckley again, trying to make amends. Here's a one-on-one -on -one battle, White versus Fraser. Ground level ball. And again, the Magpies only able to make haphazard gains forward. Brown and Cloak. And Jonathan Brown, ranked player on the ground. Only would need to start making an impact on the scoreboard. Fraser was hurled, no free kick. Cole tries to crash his way through. Hart's been great. Oh, Copeland, well done. Loney and Carousella. Great little knock from Carousella to accommodate Pike. Great kick from Pike by Craig. Overlap provided by Carousella. Drives the pass in low. Mark taken. McGrath. One out in the goal square. Lynch and Wakeland. Players get back now, but it goes in that direction. Cloak in from the side, over the top, Wakeland. Now a chance for Shaw. Nest of Magpies. Where will he go, though? Not much to kick to. Fraser. At the back, O'Brie. Try to get it out, and there's been... Hill, he'll get a free kick. Never had position of the ball. He never took never had position of the ball. Ball spilled out. Held him too long. Good explanation there. For Marcus Ashcroft, who accepted all that without any argument. O'Brien heads towards Tarrant and Rocker. Tarrant at the back. Oh, he looked for Cole. Cole was looking to apply the Shepherd. White. Good tackle by the golf. Took him out of bounds. It was a good tackle, but White just conceded the tackle and knew that that boundary line was his best friend. Smart play. Fraser to do battle with White. White works to the front. Fraser did very well. Buckley, brilliantly done. Kick to the top of the goal square. Tarrant, chance for Rocket. Can he get boot the ball? He can. He'll kick a goal for the Magpies. So Collingwood kicked two consecutive goals. And the margin. Back to six goals, Steve. It was, and what fantastic play by Nathan Buckley. Just swooped on that ball. You just think if the Magpies are to get back into this game, it needs either Rocker or Tarrant to ignite this side. And uh, fortunately, Anthony Rocker has kicked his first. Still no behinds kicked in this game. As Anthony Rocker joins the goal-kicking list, it's not a long one for the Magpies, only three individual goal kickers, O'Brie, Woe Woden and Rocker. The Lions tally led by Jonathan Brown with three goals. The rest are singles out of the middle, McKee, palming with purpose, but Ackermanis reading it beautifully, combining with Michael Voss, trusting oh. the left foot, and Alistair Lynch knows where to run. Unbelievable football, wasn't it? Skillful. And that kick by Voss was outstanding. Well, the Magpie fans trying to put Alistair Lynch off. He's kicked one goal so far this afternoon. That end has been tricky to judge. Collingwood players saying it was definitely behind. And the Magpies fans and the goal umpire most importantly agree. The first blemish of the day. The Brisbane Lions 9-1-55, calling with three straight goals. MCG Saturday afternoon footy, 10 minutes gone, second quarter, and it's the Lions by 37 points. Burns. As soon as he comes. Close to the line, gets to short, just. Not much flow to the Collingwood game at the moment. Shaw's called to play on. Handball, Johnson, hasn't seen much of it. Long towards the wing, Ashcroft in best position. Where they're falling down, across their half forward line, the Magpies. Rocker and Tarrant are yet to take a mark. Darrell White, late inclusion for Chris Scott, finds Pike. Martin Pike 
coming up for possession number seven. Been a valuable player. Kick short over the top of Lynch. Wakeland with the fist. Didac on the ground, taken out by Wakeland. Somehow it gets to Voss. McRae kicks to a vacant position in front of goal. Cole has to stand his ground. Did very well, couldn't take the mark. Lecuria did well to get it to McKee. Johnson went the wrong way. Holland. Dangerously across the ground. Oh. Bad bounce for Clement. Numbers with the Lions. Power dribbles it through. From behind. So a couple of opportunities wasted by the Brisbane Lions in the yeah. last couple of minutes. Great pressure by the Brisbane forwards. See Simon Black. Clement just probably should have attacked the ball there. Just waited for it. Lucky to get away with it. Well, the Magpies just simply can't find a way out of defence at the moment. It's all short stuff. Wakeland, he's got a target at half back unless Pike can get in the road. Martin Pike, what a wonder. Into the middle of the ground. Carousella. And the short option was there. He's still got a loose man. Well, Woden getting back to try and get on McRae now. Lynch calls for it in the square. Carousella gives him the chance. Puts it deep. Wakeland used the body. Help from Woe Woden was much needed. Lecuria. Burns couldn't strike the initial tackle. Did well though as it turned out. Here's Buckley. Didac misjudged it. Good recovery. They just can't get past the centre at the moment. Keating and here's Voss again. The oh. dangerous potent left hand. Hart and Scott have to go back to Voss. No, goes back further than that to Ashcroft. Well, Collingwood have got three loose players in their defence at the moment. No wonder they can't get out of defence. They've got all their players back there, I guess. Well, at the moment, there's Shaw, there's McKee, and Burns was there on his own also. Tenth disposal for Ashcroft. The Lions trying to find a hole in this Magpie defence. They just need to keep presenting now, Brisbane. Well, it's stopping the Lions' move, but uh, it's not exactly adding to Collingwood with the wind. It's not helping their cause. One of two options he's got here, Scott. Go long to the square or try and find a short inside their 50. Brown made the lead, and in the end it was McGrath that popped up in front. And I wonder whether he's in, within range or not. He's a nice kick of the footy. He's only kicked two goals in his career, though, and it's pretty tough at that end of the ground. What do you think, Steve? No, I totally agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> so Ashley McGrath, one of five lines that playing today that didn't play in last year's grand final. Colling would have got eight. It's a beautiful looking kick. Like most others today, he's found the middle. And the Lions cheer squad have had plenty of work to do today. Brisbane have kicked ten goals too. Collingwood, three goals straight. It was clever play by Scott. He knew that the Collingwood players got back inside their back 50 and he just waited for a shorter option. They do zone off a little, the Collingwood defenders, and he just placed this little kick here, which enabled McGrath to have a shot at goal. Now the Lions with their 10th goal, well and truly in control. Fraser couldn't get it down, Hart knocks at the power. Akamanis starting to have an influence. High towards the pocket. Lynch going back. Now there's a free oh, kick. Zone, yes, yes. Before off the ball, give it to him. Get out now. Out, 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 out. Yeah. He's with his man there. His man was there. Wakeland. Short. Holland. And again, can Co Collingwood confronted with this problem. Trying to get it out of their defensive 50. McKee. Shaw. Needs to be precise. Good handball. Johnson. Took a long time to get rid of it. Tarrant couldn't take it. Didak a chance. Rock has got to beat a couple down inside attacking 50. Copeland got across and did very well. So a boundary throw in inside attacking 50 for Collingwood. Paul Curia off the ground. The Collingwood midfield. Certainly hasn't had the influence it's had in recent times. We see Jared Malloy on screen there. He's had a bit of a history against Brisbane of not playing 
that well against his former team. A real concern for him and also the Pies. O'Brien oh, wrapped up, so I'll bounce. Sure I think last year's grand final was a pretty forgettable occasion, wasn't it, for Jared Malloy? And he'd love to get another opportunity if the Magpies were to go that far this year. He started the game and probably spent the first 10 minutes of the first quarter on the ground. Simon Black has returned to the Brisbane Lions. And there's Akamanis, who had to go off the ground early as well. It's Don Jarrett, he just means so much to this Collingwood team. He can knock a few guys over, ignite that forward line. It's just so important when he gets his chance that he gives them something up forward. White, third man up, just knocks it to the line. Those uh, stoppages statistics again. The hit-outs, 22 to the Brisbane Lions, 12 to Collingwood. And taking it away from there, the Lions have taken it away 23 times and Collingwood 14, so they really have dominated. Fraser at the back. Rocker, in fact, got that one down. Debris searching for it at ground level. Ashcroft fighting hard for the Lions. Up again, guys. Straight out here, guys. Just outside attacking 50 for the Magpies. Bounce from umpire Coates. Fraser taken by Voss, sweeping handball. Lions out of trouble. Carousella cloaked it very well on that occasion against Brown. Thumped it over the line. Michael Voss 13 possession, Steve, and Nathan Buckley 11. Yes, well, Michael Voss has spent some time up in Brisbane's forward half. At the moment, they are direct opponents. He seems to prefer to handball at the moment. Three kicks and ten handballs. We know he had that knee operation a while ago, but he certainly can still kick it when he has to, but seems to be preferring to handball. Cole, inside attacking 50. Rocker, can he stand up? Tear at the bat, good hands to it. O'Brien was running, waiting front and centre. Off to Holland, should kick a goal here. Brody Holland from 40. Touched by Scott right on the line. He'll be disappointed with that, Brody Holland. Only 40 metres from goal it was right on target, just didn't have enough depth. Uh, really should have done better than that. Just tried to pop that ball through, needed a kick through it. Darren Malloy was warming up to come on for Collingwood, but has gone back into the bunker. Meantime, Ashcroft kicks in and Darrell White takes the mark. We speak about those three kicks that Michael Voss has had. Two of those set up two goals this quarter. Yeah, he's done plenty of damage with the handballs too, don't worry about that. There's Loney and Rocker, and now Cole and Buckley combined. And O'Brien's got away and just couldn't mark. Ashcroft again getting an important fist in. Tarrant doing some good heavy work off the ball. And Cole letting it flow. And now calling for a bounce. Eight minutes remaining in the second quarter. Collingwood need to get a move on. The umpire throws it up. The players weren't ready for it. Burns went for the ruck. Got it down. Buckley is dragged down by McRae. Fantastic tackling by the Lions. Listen to Michael Voss. for time. Mark's here. Up to half forward. Cloak with the spoil. Out towards the boundary line. Magpie's really under the pump. The Brisbane Lions again. Brown. Here they go. McRae with the deadly left foot. Jarman almost. Inside the 50. Now outside. Fraser kicks to the wing and maybe the Lions, maybe the Magpies can get something going. Cloak. Done well in the last seven or eight minutes on Brown. Holland, overlap from Johnson, here's a chance, Tarrant at the back, Williams, he will run into an open goal, Andrew Williams will bounce if he don't mind. Collingwood have four. So Collingwood in their best passage of playing for the afternoon, kick their fourth. Margin back to 37 points, but they've got a lot of work in front they of them. They have clever play here by Chris Tarrant, just watch him run his man underneath the ball. Allowed Williams to run onto it. Good play, Chris Tarrant. Well, 
Well, Lee Matthews on the phone. He knows the Magpies have won the quarter. They haven't done much damage with it, though. They've only won it by five points. Three goals, one to two, two. The Lions still in control, leading by 37. But maybe the Magpies can get something going. They just need to, I guess, create a couple of goals somehow, and then maybe they'll get some flow back in their system. They just need to kick two or three goals in succession just to try and give them some impetus and some momentum. That's what they need. McKee trying to do that. Brad Scott. Oh, second time. Is it holding the ball? Magpie fans furious, inventing their anger on the umpire. This time it's a free. Holding the man. Taken by Williams, who was the last goal kicker. Terrence got away, and he's got the mark. Yes! And then he collapses. Huge kick, this one. <laughs> well, it was interesting because I don't think he was going to pay the mark unless he took it. No, he wasn't. And it we see the tackle from Rocket, which upended Scott. It was a great tackle. It was. And this one, this little kick here. Bradshaw virtually concedes. And he didn't pay it to that last that last grab, so huge kick this. So Chris Tarrant for his first goal of the afternoon. Maybe the Magpies can edge back. They get a little closer. 31 points of difference. Chris Tarrant, who's had a really tough afternoon. Got hit on the scone by the ball from one of his teammates early in the first quarter, had to go from the ground, but now he's got his first in the Magpies' fit. It was a huge kick, that. They're winning the quarter by 11 points, and really has given them a little bit of momentum now. You can hear the crowds just start to lift up a notch or two. Some quiet contentment there from Chris Tarrant. Can Collingwood kick the next goal? They need to. Braves are doing better. Buckley, ineffective. Holland, kept his composure. Buckley scrambles it forward. Tarrant, is he held? No. Chance for Scott. Kicks it out to the vacant wing position. It's Holland. a very clever kick. Holland's in trouble in the middle. Carousella, McRae, hard up against the line, but the lines do very well. And the handball is a straight. Burns to Shaw. Tarrant in front. Just came off his knee. Couldn't quite control it. Just sense the tackling pressure and intensity from the Magpies to start the lift. Hell on with his arm! You broke him okay. the arm, mate. Never had possession of the ball. Holland's OK. Heard the explanation there from the umpire. Free kick to Copeland. No, motions to Jonathan Brown to lead towards the boundary line. He does. That's the target. Cloak with the fist. McRae, oh, scooped it up. Carousella scrambles at four. Hook oh, pitches in front of McGrath. And Clement does the right thing. Knocks it towards the boundary line. Oh, Woden needs to keep his feet here. He does brilliantly. Soccer's to his own advantage. McGrath's got pace. They both fall to the ground. And it's probably a pretty good result for Collingwood. Boss coming off the ground. Chris Johnson about to have his first run of the game. Watch out. Interesting move by Lee Matthews with the Magpies just pressing here. 31 points the difference. Lions in attack. Simon Black, who spent a good period of time off the ground as well. With a bit of a facial in injury. He's had 10 possessions for the match. Simon Black, Michael Voss, 13. It's been a titanic struggle of Wakeland as we look at the Holland hit and Brody Holland just going down but he's up and okay. Cloak forced to do the ruck work over the top. Magpies had a man back in the square, Wakeland, and he weighted his kick perfectly. 10-2-62 the Brisbane Lions. 5-1, 31 Collingwood, 25 minutes gone as Michael Voss stretches out. Clouds still threatening here. The dark clouds behind the southern stand, but at the moment, sunshine at the MCG. It's a cool day. McKee gets paid hey, the mark. No, you both were up body to body, mate. No problem. Body to body. Mark. McKee switches to oh. Buckley. 
It comes in for possession 15. He's got Burns running for him. This is what the Magpie fans want to see. They want to see their stars start to explode. Burns. Poor kick. Poor kick. It's about the third or fourth time today they've missed Tarrant. Keating goes wide and he finds Mel Michael. And very short. And McGrath, let's get down to Jared Waitley. Hutto, Keating's on because Charman has limped off and is having some work done on his left knee, just assessing the structure there. He did look in a good deal of pain when he came off, so we'll uh, check on that at halftime. Nodding. Lines have doubled Collingwood's score. Magpies will kick the last two goals. Ackermanis, roving. Kick towards Wakeland and Lynch. Lynch and Wakeland did superbly work to the front. Ran out of options, Cloak. Buckley, look out. Manufactured something across the reshore who was standing all by himself at half back. Now something for the Magpies. Williams leads and Shaw doesn't quite hit him. Chance for Tarrant, little fumble. He's still got support from Loney. Shoveled up. Copeland, ineffective. Rocker now. Probably would have got numbers here. Anthony Rocker steadies from 20. Kicks towards Cole. Can Cole get boot the ball? No. Well, they should have done better from that, Collingwood. They had numbers inside their attacking 50. They had options. Rocker, perhaps, Steve, would have been better advised to go for goal. Yes, may have been a little unselfish, but a couple of good signs for the Magpies. Both Wakeland... He has. 10-2 to 5-2 as he goes short and Hart takes the mark. Let me just finish that off. <laughs> Sorry, <Wakeland>. Steve. <laughs> and also uh, Cloak on their last two contests with their respective opponents had won the jewels. Just a good little win for both of those players. And he picked a very inopportune moment to take <laughs> that mark, didn't he? As Hart kicks up to the wing. We'll have a look at it in a moment. Brown takes the mark. Lynch is back. Wakeland watching him and McKee standing in front of him. So that's why he hasn't just kicked it long and quickly. Switches in set. It's dangerous here. Chance for the back post. They can win the ball. Mel Michael's going to be run down. But not before he got the handball to Darrell White. White forced wide again. Hart, low kick. McRae was looming as dangerous. But saving the day, Scotty Burns. 50. Step metre forward. Here's the Daryl White mark. Told you it was a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> Fraser, as the Magpies start to go forward again, they are looking better. They trail by 30 at the MCG. Didac's got a couple of options in short. One of them is Malloy. Bit of a run up from Ben Johnson. Already side to handball. They need someone to just to demand the ball and try and kick a goal themselves. They're going to get a kick. chance here. Free kick. Let's listen. On his back. Oh. Andrew, how about just saying what was that? What was that for? Rather than using expletives as well, it was in the back. Have a look at it. He can't sit, sit on his back, mate. Can't sit on his back. Hey. Yeah, that's all right. We'll pay the guy in front, mate. Get in front, no problem. Just hold it there. they will do you, Jason. Michael Vozzo, the umpire. Huge kick, this. He kicks it. They win it by three goals, the Magpies, this quarter. It's a massive kick for Andrew Williams to give them something to go on with in the second half. Unfortunately for Collingwood, he misses to the right. And that hope that they would have carried in, that extra spark, now will have to be generated from elsewhere, from within the rooms. Lee Matthews would be very happy, not quite as happy as he would have been at quarter time, the margin 29. Yes, uh, probably spot on there, Hutto, but certainly the Magpies won the quarter. It's exactly what Mick Moldhouse would have encouraged at quarter time. Nathan Buckley getting plenty of the ball, will need to lead his troops after half time should they win this game. Can they get back in the game? Second half from the MCG. 29 points is the margin. Black helping Brisbane forward. 
Woe Woden out wide, but Ashcroft. Collingwood Bruce. starting. McKee is a loose man in defence. 12 possessions for Ash Ashcroft. And now Pike for his ninth touch. There's McKee. Oh, he didn't try and mark it. Clement. We started on the bench. Keating's been able to pop up for some goals in recent weeks. That time, just a behind. And uh, James Clement, we hear the umpire talking to him there, just had the two possessions for the game so far. Loney at fullback for the Magpies. And Steve mentioned McKee. Oh, Ooh. dangerous kick. Wakeland did well to get it back to Loney. Now he's indecisive. Ran a long way. Spots Cloak in the midfield. Run provided by Woe Woden is ignored. Cloak off a step. Out wide. Now Tarrant's got an opportunity here. Just got Bradger underneath it. Chance for O'Brien from 40 metres. Drop punt into the win. Just missed. Jean O'Brien kicked the opening goal of the match for the Magpies. In that first quarter, the Lions then kicked the next eight. Behind only to Collingwood. Lock and the other one there who hasn't seen too much game time, Steve. No, he hasn't. Uh, a player that provides a fair bit of drive for the Pies off that half back line. Let him go! Brody, Brody, let him go. That's fine there. Brad Scott. Still there, Brody. He can go back to the goal now. square here, which is what he's going to have to do as they try and find a way out of defence. Akamanis. One on one, pretty much all over the ground, except there's no one on Brad Scott. Because McKee's the loose man for Collingwood pushing back. Doesn't come into the play here. Wakeland had to do it on his own and he did it well. Power was looking dangerous there. Malloy! Power almost went out there. Handball back from Johnson. It came back on pretty quickly. Black into the square. His hand was being held. The umpire let it go and it's through for a behind. And there's a corner player injured, Reese Shaw, limping away into the back pocket. Alistair Lynch has abused the umpire here and he's given away 50. Now, I call it as his hand being held and that's what it must have been for. So Buckley takes it and swings them forward. Way widen. Copeland was the spoiler. Here's O'Brien ready to pounce. He's got a man at centre half forward if they can spot him up. Hesitation from Cole. Had to go back along the line. Low kick is proved good and Burns. Able to take the mark. Another big shot coming up for the Magpies. I just wonder whether the distance might be a bit beyond him into this Bruce Scott Burns. He's a, a wonderful kick, but this is a really test him. As we look at the Lynch incident, and there's Alistair Lynch remonstrating, and the reason why the 50 metre penalty was paid. So Scott Burns, along with Shane O'Brien, has been very potent up forward for the Magpies this year. Burns has kicked 20 goals going into today. Couldn't get one there. The win was too tough as it turns out. White. Scott. Now Keating as the Lions move it out of defence. High towards the wing. Now McKee's got to stand his ground here. Brown comes from the back, almost takes the mark. McKee did very well. Black just threw it out. Socket forward inside, attacking 50. Chance for Lynch. Great handball. Carousella from 30. He doesn't miss these. Brisbane have the first goal of the third quarter. So Brisbane, a great transference of play. Alistair Lynch playing a hand. And they did what they had to do. Get the first goal in the third quarter with the OC of this Bruce. Great play by Ackermanis, just no, getting it forward. No doubt. Some great play by Ackermanis, but also Brown and Black, who just held that ball in. And uh, Carousel was on the end of it. Great little block there by Lynch. Just enables Carousel to steady and kick this goal. So Brisbane with the first goal of the third quarter. Kicking with this breeze in this term. Fraser beaten by Keating. Chance for Johnson. Oh, gee, just hoisted high out towards the wing. Copeland. Take the mark, but had plenty of time. Brown on the lead in front of McKee. Johnson coming the other way, missed everything. Oh, well done. Hart, Brown. Now Voss comes into play. Michael Voss chips towards Johnson. Got to get around Clement. Went to ground and over the boundary line. 
How well, close do you think they need to be, Colin, for them to have a chance at three-quarter time with the win? I think they've got to be within about 20 points. They've got to win this quarter by a couple of goals. Brisbane, attacking opportunity. Keating in front. Ball to the back, Fraser. Good handball, McKee. Just scrambles it really towards the boundary line. Cole did very well. He's got to beat a couple. Would have been better advised to see it over. Now a chance for Johnson. The Loyal need to make a contest. He does. Burns did very well. Malloy assists. Now a chance for Holland. Here come the Magpies. Rocker. I think it's even too far out for him. He ignores and bums it long. Burns is one out in the goal square. And Ekermanis, it's offline. So Colin would have had their opportunities early, Steve, in this third quarter. Just haven't quite been able to convert on the scoreboard. Missed a couple of shots. Just so important, Anthony Rocker and Chris Tarrant start taking a few marks inside their forward 50. Two marks between them to date. Brad Scott. And he gives Fraser a chance here against oh. Pike, and he takes it. Oh, that's, that's a great it. grab. Now Rocker, will he launch another bomb? Now goes shorter for Wo Woden, still too far at the Jason score into the breeze. He's got Burns on as a short option. What's something longer? Malloy calling for it in the square. He might get his chance in a moment, Malloy. Let's see whether Wo Woden goes for the pass to him. He does, but Malloy just didn't get there. It wasn't necessarily his fault, but in the end, the option wasn't the right one. Scott got the fist to it. Let's get to Jared Waitley for an, an update on these conditions. Hello, the breeze has certainly died a little. We had a shower of rain during halftime, and after that, the breeze has certainly settled. The flags on the uh, Olympic stand are virtually not moving at all now, so it will be much more possible to kick goals at that end where the gap is. And we're catching a glimpse there of Lucuria, Jared. I might get you to update Ooh. that situation in a moment, but let's watch where this is a free for out in the full. It is. It goes to Malloy. And he's going to go short, and he's just got it in time to the captain. So Buckley to have a shot. No it was good play by Malloy because he was aware that the ball was trickling over and just able to knock it back. He was aware that there was a Brisbane player right behind him, and it came off his Nathan, shin. here it is, mate. So Nathan Buckley, over the years, the one criticism which may have had some validity was that he didn't patch kick enough goals. This year, though, he's kicked 17 goals for the season at a rate of 49%. So you think the odds would be against him here, but Nathan Buckley would love to defy the odds. He just couldn't. He came mighty close. Jared, what do you think about Lacuria? Well, he's doing the shuttle runs with the physio now, just trying to stretch out. The left heart, uh, calf is uh, extremely heavily bandaged. He'd give him some chance the way he's moving, but uh, see the bandage is, is pretty heavy. Margin, 34 points in favour of the Lions. Pike. Kicks towards Brown, but the boundary line too close. Been a star this afternoon, Jonathan Brown. 11 possessions, but he kicked three goals in a blistering first quarter, which really set this Brisbane lead up. As we look at the Collingwood interchange bench, Keating's also been on. wonderful. McKee got that one. Ackermanis towards the line. Buckley continues to take it over. So as Steve said at the outset, McKee and Fraser alternating in the ruck and playing a loose oh, man. Guys, guys, easy off the ball here. Inside. The ball, easy, guys, guys. Brisbane's attacking 50. McKee oh. beaten by Keating. Black, here they go. Black runs to 60. Kicks out in front of Lynch. Wakeland's got a task here. He did brilliantly at the four. McGrath and Shaw. Shaw overruns it. Chance for McGrath. Soggers at Goldwood. Oh, oh Cloak overruns it. He's got time to get back and concede it behind. So, the Collingwood defence, they looked in some trouble there, but they're able to keep it in composure in the end and force a rush behind. They've done that a couple of times today. A few of the Magpie players just overrun the ball. Again, they go short out of defence. Buckley, well, Pike just had a look in. Well done, though, by Brady Holland. 12 possessions for Holland as he gets it back to Johnson. This is what he's in the team for, to give them some run out of defence. Copeland tracked it oh. back, but he couldn't stop Rocker. Well, this is what they've lacked. They're marking forwards. Anthony Rocker, eight possessions for the day, just his second mark. And he's kicked one goal one. Kicked four goals in round four and four goals in the grand final last year. So 
He's got a good record against the Lions. He almost brought them home in the grand final last year when he was so dangerous in the second and third quarters. Oh. Rocker starts this one way away to the right. It had no hope after that. And the margin reduced ever so slightly. Now 34 points, 5-7 to 11-5. Chris Johnson, another player, back into the Lions team today after missing several weeks. He was injured in round 13 against Richmond, and while he was out, they lost to 3-0 Port and Essendon and defeated Hawthorne and the Kangaroos. Ashcroft in game number 312, kick short, black. Paracella. Started slowly with the Lions after transferring from Essendon, but was outstanding last week in Brisbane's win over the Kangaroos. Kicks out wide. Lead provided by Keating. Great kick. Was a great kick. Steve! Yes, Steve! He's such an impact player, Keating. In the centre square, he was the one that got the Lions moving in the first quarter. Just getting up, thumping the ball forward, giving his midfield and forwards every opportunity, and they were able to capitalise. Taking plenty of time here, not too much on for him. Decides just to bomb long. Brown in the pack. Chance for Cole. Wide of the play is sure. Oh, he gave it to Johnson, who was in real trouble. Threw it out almost towards Cole. Needs to get it out. Oh, he's got some time all of a sudden. Around power. Oh, he needs to do something with it here. Johnson. Back to Cole. He works his way through, then kicks straight in towards White. Collingwood, though, with the numbers. Clement. Strange looking kick by Woden in good position. Marks. Shaw. Can he set up here? Around McGrath. The lead from Williams. He ignores that. Rock has got to be two here. And in front, Bradshaw was able to hold his ground. It's the same as what I played to Josh Franklin just before. He controlled the ball. What do you think, Steve? Oh, I think he did. Oh. <laughs> You might have waited till you saw the replay before you said that. <laughs> Here's Hart out of half-back. The umpire at least, though, trying to be consistent. As he said, it was the same as he paid to Josh Fraser. Here's McRae. Brown in great position. Good well. His handball wasn't perfect for Ackermanis. Boy, his acceleration is amazing. Ackermanis, Brown, Black and Michael Voss all in the one passage of play. Right, Enough to excite any Lions fan, any footy fan for that matter. And on the end of it, Blake Carousella, who, as Michael mentioned, is really finding his home in this Brisbane team. Lee Matthews said last week was the best game he's played for the Lions. He's kicked two already, lines up for number three. And this is about having numbers around the ball. Under pressure, but they had numbers. What about handball, that one, was it from Black over his head, yeah, on just, the bounce. Just the awareness. The boss was there. So Black Carousella has to negotiate 50 metres and a little more. Just beyond him. And through for a behind. So we're expecting a real blast at the start of this third quarter, but it's been pretty calm, really, hasn't it, for 13 minutes or so. And uh, so far in the quarter, one goal, four for the Brisbane Lions and four behinds for Collingwood. Buckley to Burns. Scott Burns, possession number 16. Holland. Looking for a way forward, Brady Holland. There's not too much on offer. He's forced to go laterally. Run taken by Wakeland. Thought about getting on with it. Not too much to go to. Cole's loose on the wing. I think he can kick it that far. Decides to try. Cole at the back, Fraser. White's got to beat a couple and is able to force the ball over the boundary line, which was the best play for the Brisbane Lions. Josh Fraser has really come of age in the second half of the season. Been beaten today, though, by Keating. Oh, gee, that was a... Now, that's a penalty against Voss because he took it out. It was a very poor boundary throw. It only came in about five or six metres. And Voss was waiting the front of the pack. Well, it's not my fault. And you just hear umpire... Josh, go around, please, Josh! Saying there, it wasn't my fault. The boundary throw was a terrible well, one. There's no doubt they need to look at that rule when that happens. Well, Voss, yeah, exactly, because he certainly wasn't the ruckman. Fraser, long kick towards half-forward. McKean from the side, almost. 
White. Buckley somehow. Holland, can he find a target? No. Copeland. Mark's under pressure at half back. Had a good game, Copeland. Yes, the Brisbane depth's been tested more this year than in previous seasons. And they've stood up so far, and they're doing it again. Shaddock's another one we're seeing more of this year. Bit of hesitation about this movement forward. Funny old kick, it almost landed for Carousella. In the end, Cole gets back and tries to save the day. His kick a little scrappy. Shaddock will go again. Brown can switch either side. That time, colorblind straight to Cloak. Off halfback, Johnson can loop the handball over the top. Now Holland, oh, he's set up by White, and he struck the tackle remarkably well. Holland's got O'Brien over the top. I think the free kick may have been paid. Play on the call now, though, as Shaw and Clement collaborate. McKee's away at half forward. He'll almost have to go on his own here. Steve McKee, can he get a short foot into the ball? No. Surely that's holding the ball. That's incredible. No, said the umpire. And Scotty Burst says, thank you very much. I'm going to kick a goal. The Lions fans incredulous. Maybe Steve McKee, by the time he picked the ball up, didn't actually have time to what you'd call prior opportunity, but boy, he had the chance. Well, I'd like to see it again. I'm pretty sure he had plenty of time to get rid of that ball. Well, here we go. But really, once he picked it up, it wasn't an enormous no. time, but he, he had the chance, didn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, a goal to Collingwood. Well, when you slow it down, Steve, you did have plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can understand well, the line. What do you think, Chris? <laughs> Correct call. Play on. <laughs> <laughs> Former Collingwood Premiership player Michael Christian with us in commentary today. Back in the centre, oh, Keating. Man. Fraser, I think, got that one down. He gets it out. Copeland playing in front. Great tackle from Burns. Malloy, well, he gave it off too quickly, and the key wasn't ready for it. Roy Woden starting to come into it. Now Buckley. What can he conjure up? He kicks short onto the chest of Taylor. And all of a sudden, the Collingwood fans find their voice at the MCG. Steve, that was a remarkable kick by Buckley. He could have gone short and wide to Burns, but he went for the... What was a harder option, but a man in a much better position? It was, but I reckon that he knew that Tarrant was going to present. He was always going to present Tarrant, so he just hold, held the kick up until he led. Chris Tarrant's kick one, needs to kick this for Collingwood, comes in, misses. That's their fifth behind for this quarter, and they've all been gettable goals. There's Clark Keating. Yeah, shades of for parts of last year's grand final when the Magpies were coming, and they had those opportunities and couldn't convert. Short kick from Ashcroft as Power takes the mark. It was prominent early, Luke Power, but he's been a little quiet. Ten possessions for the game. Ashcroft has continued to find it. Out to Daryl White. Brad Scott has been the most prolific for the Lions with 17 possessions. Michael Voss coming in to join him. Touch number 17 coming up. Back to Bradshaw. Go to heart, but uh, Magpie's doing well here. They've been able to hold them up and forcing him to kick wide to a contest. Brown, maybe some slight contact there on the head of Brody Holden. Lee Matthews. They can home the last two flags. Can he make it three in a row this year? Certainly, the way they've played today, there's no reason why they can't do it again. Just a critical time now. Yep. Just the way this game's placed. A bit of sting's gone out of it. You just think if Collingwood could just score a goal or two here, they'd go into three-quarter time knowing their every chance of winning this game. A bit, bit going on off the ball there. Some blocks and so forth. Looks like Shaddock trying oh, to get onto Buckley. Like Meantime, Buckley is still running with Michael Boss. What's it there, Anthony? There's Shaddock and Buckley. Charman to Voss. Now Shaddy. Buckley with a fantastic smother. The desperation shot. Was that deliberate?
Watch it again. Sean Hart just handball into a trainer. Yes. Boundary throw in. Michael. At least 20 metres. Clement in the way. He was confronted by a couple of Brisbane Lions. Didn't have prior opportunity there. Bounce. And half forward. And Steve, conversely, if Brisbane were to kick one or two goals in this final part of the third quarter, uh, it really spelled the end of Collingwood's chances. Well, five minutes remaining. So important. This next goal. Kick towards half forward over the boundary line. Margin was 42 points at quarter time in favour of the Lions. Collingwood were able to narrow the margin to 29 at the half. And it's currently 28. Well, blown away in an electrifying first quarter by the Brisbane Lions. Fraser. Buckley now. Got it from Lucuria. Michael. Just read it better off the boot than Rocker. Done a good job on Rocker. Only the two marks, Anthony Rocker. Shattuck. Got plenty of time on the southern wing. Casual bounce. Now needs to spot a target. He spotted one, couldn't get it to him, although he did in the end. Charman off to Darrell White. Oh, no pressure as he runs to 45 and kicks a goal for the Lions. It's been an arm wrestle in this third quarter. Just the two goals, but Darrell White has kicked one for the Lions to extend their lead to 34 points, just what Collingwood didn't need. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts the Magpies, but just watching the Brisbane players, a number of them ran across to Mel Michael, knowing that he intercepted that ball and set that attack up. Thirty-four points is the margin. Daryl White saw him on screen. Took a great mark earlier in the day. Help to him, no prior opportunity, mine. Interesting, Steve. Uh, Shattuck was involved in the last build up to that play. He's trying to tag Buckley. Buckley is responsible for Voss, and the extra loose man is generally the ruckman going back for Collingwood. But Shattuck here he is again without a man, getting the possession, driving them forward. Was that a mark in the middle of that? Yes, it was. Guess who? Jonathan Brown. Yeah, with a bit of breeze behind him, this is not beyond him. In some ways, he's been the difference between these two teams, Jonathan Brown. He's been the number one forward on the ground, taken marks. When you have a look at the other end, Tarrant and Rocker both only taken two marks. And in the last five weeks, Tarrant has averaged ten marks. Rocker has averaged seven. Quiet, 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 calls that his play quiet, on. Quiet. So Brown can't have a shot. He, he's, oh, his presence is blind, though. It's a seed carousella. It's an interesting call by the umpire. Yeah, yeah. Brown didn't seem to have moved at all. He's actually running over to the umpire. He's really he's going to tag him into the well, 50. Uh, you'd have to question what it was for. What the play on call was for. Let's, let's listen. I wonder... 65. OK. Nah, come on, mate. Time was the reason that it was play on. Carousella sets it up, tries to swing it back for another goal. It's a behind. So the umpire called play on because he'd taken too long. And he was arguing that he was having a shot for goal. I think the umpire was saying, no, you weren't. Well, I'm pretty sure there are a ladder called time on. Yeah, the umpire was saying he was too far out to have a shot for goal. Well, just because he went back that far didn't mean that he wasn't going to launch into a long bomb, so... Fair case for Jonathan Brown. I suspect so. He was just arguing that he was only 55 out. Then 65. Buckley kicks in. Thanks, Craig. To Wakeland. Thanks, Craig, there. Wait for the call, Craig. Not too much on offer for Wakeland. He looks up. All he can see is contest, so he's forced to switch play. Cloak. Run up against the line. Oh, he's in trouble here, Jason oh. Cloak. Just didn't have the presence of mind there to get on with it. It's just been the story of the day. The Brisbane pressure, their chase, their relentless chase to keep the ball inside their forward half. Sensational play, Alistair Lynch. Lynch decides just to float it towards full forward in front of Charman. Well, you don't often see the floater in today's football, but that was a classic example. And Charman was the one who read it best. Well, 
That's what happens when you play in front. When a kick comes in wobbling like this, it generally drops short. And Sharman was able to take the grab. Kicked a goal last week, Sharman. Against the Kangaroos, a chance here from close range. He's kicked it. The Lions are further in front. Well, Steve, we talked about three or four minutes ago how critical this last five or six minutes of the third quarter was. And Brisbane are the, the side that's been able to respond. They've kicked two goals and now really the task of Collingwood, uh, well, it's almost impossible. Yeah, well, that time on periods is so important in the game. And Brisbane, while well, they've kicked the last two goals in that time on period, makes it very difficult for the Magpies. He's played his part, Jamie Charman, this afternoon, as yes, most of this Brisbane Lions side have. Argent and 41 points is restored. As the tap from Charman taken by Holland. Here's Rocker versus Michael, but it bounces for Ackerman. It's Buckley there to lay the tackle. Brad Scott has been prolific today. Taron, interesting approach to the foot. He could have got a free for that. He will. That guy was a little late on it. Holding. Hey, Jason, move away, mate. Come on. Bradshaw's done a good job today, Steve. He uh, has. We know Tarrant got one to the head, so yeah. it's, I guess, hard to judge. Not good to get one early like Tarrant did in the head, but, uh, hey, you play on your opponent, and uh, Bradshaw, well, he's done the job. Still a quarter to go. Well, if Collingwood had to win, Chris Tarrant needs to kick a goal here. And that's why Bradshaw just needs to concentrate as well coming up into the final quarter. Yes, this is an important kick for Chris Tarrant and the Magpies. He's still just eyes darting around a fraction. I think if he had been able to lay it off, it would have been the preferred option. Even though he's 45 out, it's a tough ask from there. But Chris Tarrant is a class four, and he gives them some hope. Thirteen seven eighty five Brisbane seven eight fifty Collingwood the margin back to thirty five and gee that was a great piece of play from Nathan Buckley a great tackle just to prevent Brisbane from clearing the area and uh, Ackermanis and was uh, the the, re or the result of the turnover and a great finish from Chris Tarrant popping a, a boot in the face early in the match is certainly a difficult thing to overcome but he's starting to work into the game so Chris Tarrant kicks his second goal glimmer of hope for the Magpies. Holland again, another centre clearance. Rocker working back. Holland again, just threw it on the boot. Tarrant coming out, will he get a favourable bounce? No. McGough on the ground. Snap Goldwood. Across the face. White, plenty of time. Loose player nodding. Chance here for Brisbane. Mike provides the shepherd. Gee, ordinary kick from Notting. Brown, great tackle from Cloak, really pinned him. McCrane just forces it forward. Charman went to ground. The handball out, Cole somehow got it to Cloak. Oh, I agree, put him under pressure, but he was quick to respond. Shaw, but got sliding. Takes the mark. Need to get it in That's quick. Nice. Need to get it in quick. Well, they're outnumbered already because of the loose man. Scott's back. And now Daryl White's drifting back as Tarrant makes a lead. So he hasn't got too much to go to. He's just got to sit on top of Brad Scott's head. There's Rocker. Eventually, short options provided by Cole. Rocker calling for it long. Anthony Rocker. Richard Cole taking a long time. Rocker just wants it long. Now it's long. Brisbane with the numbers. Rocker almost. Buckley somehow. Oh, handball beautifully done. Lockett squeezes it home. Another one to the Magpies. Well, you've got to give it to them. They've been able to sneak a couple of goals in shadows of three-quarter time just to... Keep them within uh, 29 points, Stephen. Well, they're not out of it yet. No, good little fight back, isn't it? They've kicked the last two. Had they gone in a couple of minutes ago, if the sign had gone, it would have been a 41-point lead to Brisbane. But they've just pegged them back by two goals. A good little bat fight back by the Magpies. 
Lockin spent so much time on the bench in this match, but he's taken the opportunity presented. 8-8, plays 13-7. 29 points the difference. 25 seconds. Boy, the Magpies could get one here. It would give them some hope into the last quarter. Instead, it could be the Lions that managed to get it forward. Cole, under pressure, the young man. Nathan Buckley puts the head down the bottom up. Gets some great protection and help along the way. Nothing doing for him. He waited and then kicked it to Rocker. Oh, Mel Michaels' fist was so important. Darryl White, his foot went from under him. No free kick and neither there should have been. And in the end, the scoreline remains the same. Both sides adding three goals, five for the quarter, and the margin will be 29 points when the Magpies take the win into the last quarter. Yeah, huge task for the Magpies. They did kick the last two in that quarter. I guess they did fight back, but uh, is the job beyond them? And that is the question Mick Malthouse would be asking to himself as he walks out to address his players. Nathan Buckley had a sensational quarter, but must lead this team in this last quarter should they get over the line. Last quarter, about to start at the NCG. Josh Fraser and this Magpie team with a job ahead of them. And McKee starting back as a loose man. And Fraser couldn't get fingernails to the ball. So we'll do it again. And McKee comes straight in. Nothing in that. Thanks, Brody. Thanks, Bro. So Brode hands the ball back to the, uh, <laughs> the umpire. Keys pushed into the middle. They've got two Ruckman there, Fraser and McKee. They both went up and Buckley took it away. Onto the chest. Yes, no. Tarrant couldn't get it. Bradshaw was right there with him. Yeah, great effort by Bradshaw. Looked like Tarrant had the mark, but he just got his hands or an arm, a hand to his arm. Spot on. Did it very, very well. We heard Chris Tarrant arguing that he should have got a free. That's an interesting throw up by the umpire. And about two metres wide. Here's a chance for Burns. Into the square. Will it bounce? Oh, into the post. So the Magpies start with a behind and the margin back to 28. Ashcroft at full back. It's got a time Collingwood. He played some reasonable football and then some advice. Ashcroft getting from... The Collingwood cheer squad. Oh, kick power got a, just a fingernail on it. Got it over to White. Back to power. Just kicks out wide and carousel is marked. Brisbane trying to work it forward. They're kicking into a slight breeze in this final turn, but they lead by 28 points. Ashcroft. This is where Brisbane have been good. When Collingwood have had numbers back, they just chip the ball around. McGrath. Now Bradshaw's an option. He goes back to Bradshaw. Now where will he go now? McGrath is running for him. Bradshaw elects to kick out wide. Copeland's got a task here. Lockin did very well. Now numbers with the Magpies, but Copeland did very well. Got it back to Bradshaw. Kept his cool. Michael just skies it towards half forward. Cloak at the back. Oh, oh brilliantly stuff. done by McRae. Kicked inside attacking 50. Lynch out. Wakeland did very well with the fist. Cloak, does he keep it in? Somehow he did. Lacuria. Now a chance for Shaw. Gets around Akamanis, but forced to just kick hurriedly. High to the wing. Blocking with the pressure. Charma did very well to stand his ground and the ball's tied up. Yeah, he did do well. Steve, shame Wakeland. We saw him high on the, on the rankings go, earlier. And it must be because of the number of spoils and pressure he's been able to put on line, Alistair Lynch. Yeah, he's done his job. He, he's a very hard player to play up, against uh, Alistair Lynch. Play Six spoils to Wakeland. Here's Lacuria. Not at his full powers. Line. After suffering a calf injury, you can see it Thanks, heavily strapped up. Down behind, straight out. No, don't bluff, just go to the footy. Pretty important, this first goal. Key Burns was the third man up. White was more effective, though. Voss makes it awfully difficult for a forward to take a mark. Johnson, happy to have the boundary line nearby. Jason Ackermanis, his opponent for much of the day. Ackermanis, 15 possessions. 
Four times he sent the ball inside 50, but hasn't kicked a goal. Collingwood fans, of course, would have memories of Ackermanis for that Matt Sealing goal in the grand final last year. Lynch and Fraser. Carousella. Loney. Buckley. Out in. <laughs> Combatants from way back. Brad Scott and Nathan Buckley. And Scott has gone to Buckley in this last quarter. The Lions inside 50 here. Not much going on. 13-7 to 8-9. Just the one behind in the opening four minutes of this last quarter. The Magpies need to get it out of here. Chance for Ackermanis. Snap it. Goal. He's offline. He's a dangerous player. He's quick to get his foot to ball there, Ackermanis. Wakeland fullback. Kicks to himself. Drives it towards the wing. By Woden and Carousella. Just landed in front of Why Woden. Couldn't control it. So a boundary thrown. Well, Steve, they'll have to get a hurry on Collingwood if they're going to haul in this Brisbane lead. Yeah, I just feel that the uh, first goal of this quarter is so important. You'd think if Brisbane get the first one, Collingwood's hopes of winning this game. They're all back gone, but should they get the first goal in this quarter, Collingwood, well, I'm sure the Collingwood crowd will get behind them. Black, now Hart. Brisbane into attack, Cloak and Brown. Ball to the back, Wakeland. Intent to take it over. He's done a pretty good job, Shane Wakeland. Lynch has had the six possessions, just the one goal. Boundary throw in McKee and Charman. Boundary umpire taking plenty of time. McKee gets it down towards Shaw. Burns concedes it behind. Didn't have too many options there, Scott Burns. He's been a fantastic player this afternoon. And 18 possessions. And what a grand final he played. 11 tackles for Scott Burns in last year's grand final. So Ryan Loney, he gives it a huge roost. McKee's got to go here, and go he does. Couldn't pull it down, but well, Woden oh. and Buckley combined. That's very creative. mercurius has got away, needs to use it, gives Tarrant every chance. Bradshaw pulled him down and didn't give away the free kick. Certainly Tarrant was looking for the free as much as for the footy. Well, we've seen those given before. He considered himself a little unlucky, Chris Tarrant, although he was holding on to Bradshaw's arm, but they have been given the three kicks before. It was the Silvani special, wasn't it, that one? <coughs> Boss, <laughs> possession number 20. Oh, well done, the Curia. White was not watching the football. Ten on trying to shield the period from it. Loose player inside attacking 50 is Rocker. Now Mike was about uh, 40 metres away. He zoned off him. Must kick this, Anthony Rocker. Yep, yep, that's fine. Gee, it's a tough opportunity. It is, but it's one he needs to kick if Collingwood ever wins. He's a tough taskmaster. Forced oh, to kick this goal from close to the boundary. Well, he's capable. There's no question about that. And outside, well, pretty much right on 50. The angle about 60 degrees. There's a great look at it. Across the face. Tarrant up. Oh, good oh, strong mark taken by Bradshaw. What do you think of Bradshaw as a defender, Steve? Well, he's done the job. He's done it the last two weeks. And uh, with Lepage out of the side, he's earned his spot back there. Ackermanis, Michael. Boss. Kick towards Brown. Cloak with a late spoil. Carousella just toe posted towards attacking 50. Well, Woden does very well, gets back. Applies a very good shepherd to allow Shaw. Now that kick is dangerous. Not right taken by McGrath. McGrath. 
the back of Manus. Johnson arrived on the scene to spoil. Cole couldn't quite find the handle. Brisbane away. Black. Hart. Inside attacking 50. Numbers with the Magpies. Shaw couldn't control it. Now a chance for power as he fell to the ground. Wakeland and Lynch. The two-man wall. Off the line again. Every challenge that Cohen would have issued to Brisbane, they've been able to answer. Great mark there by Ashley McGrath. So Buckley takes the responsibility on himself. Didac just inserted onto the ground off the bench. Does the job, but there's only lines ahead, so he's forced to bring it inboard. Plenty of pies there. Oh, Johnson's kick smothered. Well, half dive right over the ball then. Didn't take it to the line either. Johnson now it's finally out. So nine and a half minutes gone in this last quarter. There's the smother from Jamie Charman. Keep those arms there, guys! McKee. And Charman. And hold of his jumper! Grab the fistful of jumper! Marks here! McKee gives to Holland. Lockett makes the lead. He's going to have to go here. It was a good strong good lead. Point. He's played every game this year for the Magpies. Again, Tarrant the target. You think they might need to find another way to goal at the moment. Bradshaw is holding up the line's defence gallantly at the moment. Akamanis onto the wing, and they can go again, the Pies. Johnson puts the foot down, strides away. Rocker might be the man! Well, this is the one he's got to get, Steve. This is the one. Thanks, Steve. A great grab. Third mark of the day. Needs to kick it. These are those moments in matches. The opportunities that need to be taken, and that did not come close to going through. It has been a disappointing day for Collingwood. Still, they are alive, but uh, they're hanging by the proverbial at the moment. The margin is 30. White to Bradshaw. Chips towards Hart. Hart coming up for possession number 17. Kick out wide, kick was Paul Cloak, had an opportunity. Now Buckley needs to get rid of it quickly. Great tackle from Power, could have almost been penalised. No, no, he had no chance. No, he's got it. No. He's up his chance. Thanks, Nate. Straight back. <laughs> Plenty of umpires out there. <laughs> some of them in red, some of them in black and white. Get him up. The key. Down to the courier. The overlap provided by Johnson, who's played well in this last term. Second bounce. Protection provided by Shaw. Can he find a target? He decides to go himself. A long kick is offline. Another behind the Collingwood. They've had a few opportunities, haven't they? Just squandered them by inaccurate kicking. Wonder where the gold jacket is for Joffer at the moment. Tucked away, I would suspect. And right at the bottom of the bag. Michael. For a smart side, Brisbane. Always play the percentages. Akamanis, who ran hard from the centre of the ground to accept that kick. Now Boss is released at half back. Kick out wide. Oh, strong mark. Not paid to Keating. Let's get down to Jared Waitley with another injury update. Yeah, Craig McRae's just brought himself off the ground. Hutto uh, suffering with hamstring soreness. So he's uh, straight into the arms of the physio. We'll just wait and see how serious that is. Keating, Ackermanis fell over. Holland somehow got boot to ball. Rocker and Michael. Rocker knocks it out into the path of Buckley. At the stretch. Kick was ineffective. Ashcroft. Scott. Where will he go? Oh, he's well tackled. Got the handball away just in time to Ashcroft. No, the key to spoil. Holland. Now Loney wants his left side. He can get it. Can he kick a goal? Long towards full forward. Bradshaw in best position. Into the side. Well played by Copeland. Another behind to Collingwood. Been a good player today, Copeland. 
They stood up for the for the Lions. We see Jopper on screen, but uh, look, Collingwood are putting pressure on Brisbane at the moment. They're doing all the attacking, but they just can't kick that goal they need. Yeah, the Brisbane defence without a couple of guns in Lepic and Scott. Chris Scott have really been able to stand up to the pressure that the Magpies have applied. The margin is 28. And we're inside the last 10 minutes. No goal scored so far in this last quarter. Check the inside 50s for the match. Quarter by quarter, you can see the Lions dominated in the first quarter, slightly ahead for the second. The Magpies getting on top as the game has progressed, but the margin from the first quarter has proved very difficult to overcome. It was 42 points at quarter time. They've really slowed the game down, Brisbane. They've done that successfully. Blake Carousella looking for an option. Voss now being watched by Burns. He's further up the ground. Play on is the call now from the umpire. Well, tells him to kick it first. Gives him the chance to do that. Brown and Wowoden could have been a free to Wowoden. Burns got the handball back. Johnson has been prolific since quarter time. Oh, well done. Ashcroft after the great defensive touch from White. And now Carousella through the middle on the end of it. Lynch played out all over the ground. Wakeland and now Shaw. His run's been good. He hasn't always used the right option. And once again, he kicks to a two-on-one. And the numbers will prevail. Or will they? Fierce tackling from the Magpies. Could have been rewarded. The umpire saying it was dislodged in the tackle again. He put that one down. So Dynak takes it. Has to get back on the left. He sold it beautifully, needs a goal, pleads for a goal. Doesn't get it. It seems like they just can't find it no well, matter what they try. Well, they've been peppering the goals. They've been getting the ball inside their 50, five behinds for the quarter. Akamanis out wide, Copeland. Brisbane are happy to play this chipping game. 84 marks to 61 for the day. 16 minutes into this final term, and we haven't seen a goal. Long kick towards the wing. Big pack of players. Rocker in front. Oh, he just stood his ground. That was a strong mark. Needs to get on with it quickly. Off a step. High towards half forward. Fraser in good position. So is Bradshaw. Didak at the fall. Bradshaw did well. Got it out to Black. He'll be first there. Keating gets an accommodating bounce. Power couldn't handle it. Cloak's kick is run down. Buckley needs to be strong here. He was. McKee somehow back to Buckley. Wobbles it inside attacking 50. Michael in the way. They've been Ross, Michael and Brad, no, Bradshaw no, down back. They've been very solid. Kicks out wide. Mark taken by the Brownlow medalist. As they sort themselves out, now they've got the loose man on. Voss is broken. He can put the game out of the Magpies' reach. He might pass it or he might go himself. He goes for Lynch. It wasn't a great kick. So, again, the Magpies can go from half-back, or can they? Lecuria desperate, didn't have anyone to give it to. Sean Hart into the square. Brown, the man that started it all, watches as Lynch takes the mark. Cleared the path that time, Jonathan Brown. Lynch took the mark. And again, it was Voss and Hart who had a say in it. And now it would seem the game is just about beyond the Magpies if the goal can be kicked from Alistair Lynch. One of the few times Lynch has got away from Wakeland. And Alistair Lynch does the job. The scene of many trials for the Lions over the last three years. First goal of the last quarter, kicked by Lynch. And we've got a blood rule for the Magpies, with McKee coming off the ground and Williams coming on. So Brisbane, 
lead out to 33 points. Simon Black off with the blood rule, in fact, for the Lions. Game now beyond Collingwood, you would think. Fraser and Keating, what a wonderful player Keating's been. Hart shovels it out to Voss, scrambles it forward in front, Brown. Well, he has been awesome today, Jonathan Brown. Explosive in the opening quarter, he kicked three goals. Really took the game by the scruff of the neck. And now a chance from just outside 50. Kick his fourth. Seven marks, 14 possessions. Yeah, and this is what the ump should have done last time. Time on. No, Brown. Young Gun turns 22 in a couple of months. <laughs> From just outside 50, a thumping kick, it'll land in the goal square. Fraser fists it through, it's still in. Loney searches away way through. Did very well, then in the end gave it to Woden. Back to Loney. Holland. They thought their way through that pretty well, the Magpies. Well, they almost did. Power, has got a little knock to the head. Empire coach calls time off. Power. Ackerman is screaming for it. Ignored. Oh. So he goes back instead to McGrath. And they've been happy to do this in this last quarter, Brisbane. Power. They've really protected the lead they had at three-quarter time. They've done it very well. Kicks to White. I wonder if things had have been different if Buckley was able to hit Tarrant in the opening seconds of this final term. White kick towards Carousella. Methodically working at Ford Brisbane. Lead offered by Lynch, ignored. 21st disposal for Blake Carousella. Continuing his very good form of last week. Cementing a place in this Brisbane outfit. Taking an eternity here, and he gets the, the go, double whistle. Should go to the top of the square. Comes in now. Oh, low penetrating kick is way offline. He misses everything. Brownie just gives a couple right here. Okay. As soon as he goes, I'll call it. Chris, o, Chris Johnson today has spent most of his time on the bench. Lee Matthews has been happy to do that with him. Obviously, his first game back since that uh, hamstring injury. Yeah, I think just to ease him into the game, and I think that's uh, worked pretty well for the Lions. Okay. The Magpies try to launch another attack from their half-back line. There's a lovely mark from Williams. This is for Buckley. Interesting kick to get it inside 50. Copeland put his body on the line and got the rewards. Although they might give a chance here for Didac. This is what he's paid for. And you can see the response. Alan Didac hasn't had the year that we expected him to have. He still managed to kick goals, though. In most matches, has been goalless just four times. Although today, just the two behinds. He's kicked 26 goals, 16. Now 26 goals, 18 for the year. Ashcroft finds White. Collingwood have kicked six behinds in this final term. Brisbane have added one goal, three. Bradshaw. Almost security spot, I reckon, for the rest of the season, Bradshaw. Can play up forward, but also down back. Played most of his footy up forward. But uh, very valuable player coming in a final series. Short kick is marked by Pike. Martin Pike was outstanding in the first quarter as well. Just the 10 disposals for the day. Chips dangerously, Rocker almost, couldn't take the mark. Buckley swoops on it, kept the hands free, intelligent play by Woden. Clever kick around the body by Rocker, just couldn't quite find Didak. Been so a, all the sting out of this game now. Been the story of the day for the Magpies, they're delivering into their forward half, they've missed targets. They've got a tough finish to the season here, the Magpies now. That, and they're all top eight sides, Adelaide at home, Sydney, and then Essendon at the MCG. Michael, third man up, Woe Woden. Tarrant keeps the hands free, just handball in hope more than anything. 
power. Good strong mark taken by Carousella in front of Loney. Had a good day, Carousella. And that Sydney match they play against is at the Telstra Stadium in Sydney. So they do have to go on the road once. Ashcroft. Big shot! And we're probably going to see this sort of play until the end of the game. Every time the Lions get the ball. Bring the story of the last quarter. Yeah, it doesn't make for a very attractive footy, does it? But it's been effective for them. Daryl White's got a little impatient. Here's Cole. And uses his pace, and he's got plenty of it. Now he needs to trust his left boot. Oh, Loney. Won't be pleased to look back at spilling that mark. Hasn't had a great day today. And there's the Lions run home. Sydney at home, Geelong at home, and the Western Bulldogs at the Telstra Dome. So they win today. They'll be right in amongst it come finals time. Oh. Brad Scott ready to make the great escape, but he's going to have to send it back to Sean Hart, who once again has been a fine player today for Bruce. He has, and uh, well, he's got some players to come back. Come back. 50 minute penalty now. Hey, didn't touch him, what are Brady! We got the 50! We He did not touch him! He did not touch him! We're dead like a banger! Fantastic! Went down like something. It's 50 metres. A bagger. Went down like a bagger. It's <laughs> Sean Hart's kick. It's a shocker. It's an absolute barrier. 8 14 62 Collingwood. The Brisbane Lions 14 10, 14 11 95. This game petering out somewhat, which is very disappointing, but not if you're a Lions fan because their magnificent first quarter has ensured this victory. At the moment, the margin is 33 points. Johnson gets a little courier. Cole provides the overlap. The kick just missed the mark. The pressure was was there. Michael, good tackle by O'Bree. Taken, though, by Keating. Voss. Kick towards Akamanis. Now it's downfield anyway. Akamanis. Off a couple of steps, dumps it long, Goldwood, Lynch and Wakeland, Lynch, oh no, oh, push, which way will this one go? Oh, my fate is free kick actually, oh you did not even want that. Wait, you've got, you've got to be facing the footy mate, come back to us, come back and win. Lynch will come in from point blank range. Pops it through. So Alistair Lynch kicks goal number three as we watch it again. And Jason Clayton there just remonstrating with the umpire that he paid the mark. You'll see the ball spill out of his grasp and they're sitting on top of it. I get it. But it umpire coach saying that. No, he paid the free kick. So Lynch has kicked three, two in this final quarter. And Brisbane, well, we've got to give it to them. They have responded to every challenge that Collingwood have thrown down. And back to some scintillating form this afternoon. And with Lappin, Leppage and Chris Scott to come back in the team. Yeah, the frustration showing for the Magpies because the Brisbane Lions have shown they are not done with yet. 2003. They were masterful today. In the first quarter, Collingwood kicked the opening goal through Shane O'Brien, and then the Lions kicked eight goals straight. Plenty to think about for Mick Malthouse. Michael Voss, he was just magnificent. 25 possessions. Nine times he sent the ball inside 50. Shakes hands with Nathan Buckley, who had 31 touches himself.